walk up and see James K. Polk's tomb in Nashville, Tennessee. It's a massive building there. Probably can't tell it from the video. We are here in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are visiting the grave, the tomb of James Knox Polk, President of the United States, born November the 2nd, 1795, died June the 15th, 1849. Let's take a closer look. Should have brought my gimbal. The mortal remains of James Knox Polk are resting in the vault beneath. He was born in Mecklenburg County, North Carolina and immigrated with his father, Samuel Polk, to Tennessee in 1806. The beauty of virtue was illustrated in his life. The excellence of Christianity was, an example, was exemplified in his death. And I guess that's his wife, Sarah Childress, wife of James Knox Polk, 1803 to 1891. So this is the first presidential grave that I have ever visited. On the left side of the monument, it says, by his public policy, he defined, established, and extended the boundaries of this country. He planted the laws of the American Union on the shores of the Pacific. His influence and his counsels united to organize the national treasury on the principles of the Constitution and to apply the rule of freedom to, to navigation, trade, and industry. And on this side, says asleep in Jesus Sarah Childress Polk wife of James Knox Polk born in Rutherford County Tennessee September the 4th 1803 died at Polk Place Nashville Tennessee on August the 14th 1891 a noble woman a devoted wife a true friend a sincere Christian blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. And on the final side, his life was devoted to the public service. He was elevated successfully to the first places in the state and federal governments a member of the General Assembly, a member of Congress and chairman of the most congressional committees, speaker of the House of Representatives, governor of Tennessee, and president of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, the final resting place of President James Knox Polk.